Friday, January 24th, 2020. I'm going to recap my day trade. I had an early day trade, but I was very defensive today. I usually am on Friday. don't want to go into the weekend with some bad trades. So I um, got out early and it was a good move because it ended up being a uh, very down market this, this morning. Um, so if you were probably looking for shorts, um, you probably found a lot of opportunities. At, at the open, I was looking to go long on AMD. And it was in my pre-market scan, so I saw it early because uh, it was gapping up and it had volume. And I will show you what I saw from the daily candle. So it's been moving night up very steadily and it had gapped in the pre-market above the highs of the last three days. So I was thinking it has a chance to take off, but the market had other ideas and I think that's what kind of pulled it down a lot was uh, the overall market being down because of the coronavirus and uh, that's put a scare into the market. So early in the day though, I thought it might, might um, have the power to overcome that. So at the open, it had a big green candle up. I kind of watched it here. I almost got in. I said, I don't really like the movement right now. The one minute opening range break was not good enough because for me it was, uh, it, it had uh, too much resistance above it because it was kind of, it had gapped up, but when you look at the rest of the opening, like you can see there's some resistance up here. Uh, so it had gapped up, but it was like kind of fading and then into the open. So I didn't take it right away. It broke through VWAP and the 200 moving average, but then it regained them, formed this little shelf here, and then started getting a little bit more volume here. So I got in. I got in at 52.55. Took a little bit. I actually ended up with a hot key mistake. So I took more shares than I really wanted to. So right away I said I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get screwed over by um, holding on to these if it kind of tanks on me. So right after I got in, literally within 20 seconds, I took some out at 52.61. So just a six cent gain. I just reduced my overall position just just because I had taken out way too many shares, and I didn't uh, I didn't intend to do that. So I reduced it back to my normal share size and then it kept going up and I took some off right here when it kind of started to lose steam. Uh, I took some off at 52.74. Yeah, 74. So 19 cent gain from where I got in at 55. Um, and it kind of came close to my first target area, my, my 2R. But I ended up not getting that and it started really tank. So when I took out this is about half half my shares. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. It was more than half because I took out, or less than half because I took out some here. But of the main shares that I meant to, the, the amount of shares that I intended to trade, it was about half. And then it came back and collapsed, and I had moved my stop up to about VWAP. And as soon as it started really tanking, uh, I just got out at just below break even at 52.49. So I got in at 55 and. So it was a six cent loss on the remaining shares, but small gain, six cent gain on some shares, and then 19 cent gain on on some um, a bigger portion of my shares, uh, and then the remaining shares here. So overall, I actually got ended up positive for the day on this one. But you can see what it ended up doing the rest of the day. It just collapsed. So I really should have been looking to go short, probably around this area. Um, so 52, maybe short it right through fit the 52 even. Because look, at, it went all the way down to 50. I mean, this was a great short if you ended up taking it. Uh, I had a tough time after getting out when I did. I had a tough time getting back in on, on the short side. Uh, I'd love to be able to do that more and just kind of trade, jump in and out when I see opportunities. But, you know, my, my vision was kind of tainted because I had uh, I had already gone long on it. So it was just, it, I just wasn't looking short, but that was a mistake. That was a good short. One that I did put a little arrow on was Novartis um, early on in the day. I wanted to go short on this one because it was in my pre-market. You can see it broke VWAP early on at around like 950 something. And then it dropped below the, 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 the low of the day and the low of the pre-market right here, big red bar. I wanted to get in at 94.88. And look what it did after that. It went all the way down to I think the low of the day was yeah it was 94 uh what was it 93.88 so it was a whole dollar from where I wanted to get 94.88 to 93.88 
an entire dollar drop. And I really wish I had taken that. I, I just, I put an arrow there at the time thinking, you know, if I did take a short, this would be, let's see what happens. And uh, I messed out, missed out on it. So unfortunate, but yeah, I was really defensive today because it was, you know, just with all the news, the spies down, I did not want to take any chances. So I had a small little gain with AMD and that was it. So good luck trading. Stick to your rules. If you stick to your rules, eventually you'll be successful. You'll start honing your strategy, your uh, trading management a little bit better, and um, you'll end up you'll end up doing well. So just just stick to your rules and uh, take it take it safe in this the this Friday because you don't want to uh, you don't want to go on the weekend with any any kind of bad trades hanging over your head. So see you next week.